Hi, thank you for joining me today for today's reading of Money Ninja. Oh, I can never remember that you cannot see it. Okay, what if I put it in front of me? There you go. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> this book is really special to me because it was inspired by my boys who truly really did uh, these things that Money Ninja did in this book um, on the subject of saving, investing, and donating money. So Money Ninja is a story about a little ninja who learns that money is not just to spend, but you can do a lot of different things with it that helps you in the future and also it helps the people around you. So uh, let's find out what happens in the story of Money Ninja? <clears throat> All right. Money Ninja by Mary Nin. Pictures by Helena Stupar. This book is dedicated to my children, Mikey, Kobe, and Jojo. It is more blessed to give than to receive. <clears throat> so you can see uh, in the title page here, half title page here, the little ninjas are wearing faith t-shirts. And this truly is a nonprofit organization that helps children who um, <clears throat> have been diagnosed with cancer. And this is a Tesla X. Has anyone, has anyone seen that in real life? So fun. <clears throat> money Ninja was filling his candy machine and collecting the money he made. Meanwhile, Unplugged Ninja was explaining what he was going to do with his birthday money. After I buy five packs of Pokemon cards, I'm going to buy a new remote control for my PC. That's awesome, says Money Ninja. So do you have, do you collect Pokemon cards or uh, do you have a PC that you play with? After they got home, Money Ninja sold lemonade while Unplugged Ninja continued to talk about spending his money. Have you ever sold lemonade? My boys did when they were younger, during soccer practice, team soccer practice. And they also had some candy machines that they would put up at the restaurant. After an afternoon of selling lemonade, Money Ninja decided to make a video for his YouTube channel. He had been documenting the entire day. He was making money from his YouTube channel, just sharing his ha daily happenings. Unplugged Ninja says, hey, what are you going to do with all that money? Money Ninja responds, you'll see. When they, when they arrived at room number 4322, Money Ninja handed his hard-earned money to Brave Ninja's mother. Brave Ninja had recently been diagnosed with leukemia. The money was going to help pay for his doctor bills. <clears throat> so I don't know if you guys noticed, we don't have Brave Ninja yet. Would you like to see one? Would you like to see the story of Brave Ninja? I haven't, I haven't written it yet. On the way home, Money Ninja explained, you can do other things with your money besides spend it, you know. You can save it, invest it, or donate it. I've never thought about that, said Unplugged Ninja. Can you tell me more? Then Money Ninja responds, sure, I'll show you. When I got money for my birthday, one of the first things I did was to save some for my car. 
by the time I turn 16, I'll have $10,000 saved up in my bank account, explained Money Ninja. So here he is depositing money at the bank. Saving helps us develop delayed gratification. That's a good quality to have. It means we're patient. So then he provides a Money Ninja tip. If you deposit $100 into a checking account, your money will collect interest. The bank may pay you up to $3. So you can turn $100 into $103. Another thing I did with my birthday money was invest it. I invested in a lemonade stand, candy machines, and equipment for a YouTube channel, continued Money Ninja. Investing helps us to become money savvy, which means smart with money. Money Ninja tip. If you invest $10 into your business, like the lemonade stand, and you make $20 back, you just doubled your money. Finally, the last thing I did with my birthday money was donate it. Donating to my church and to those in need makes me feel happy. So then he gives another money ninja tip and his money turns into feelings of love. Sometimes what you do with your money gives you things you can't see, but that you can feel. You see, there are many things we can do with money besides spend it. Then Unplug Ninja says, wow, I had no idea, I'm going to try it. Developing delayed gratification, money savvy skills, and donating to those in need are Ninja's best weapons against instant gratification and greed. The end. So I hope you like the story of Money Ninja. Um, it, this concept is really uh, special to me because it is something that I teach my boys also. Um, let me know in the comments if you have already do any of these things that Money Ninja has implemented, saving, investing, or donating. Okay, I'll see you for the next reading. Have a great day, bye.